Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're looking at Mentimeter. So we're going to dive straight into Mentimeter. This is the home screen. So from the home screen you can view your existing presentations. You can create folders to organize your presentations. You can create new presentations and you can also search your presentations. From the left hand menu if we then select inspiration it shows you examples of different question types and different questions and you can add those so there's sort of default questions that you can add directly to your presentations. And then it also shows you how you can edit and alter the theme and layout of the presentation as well. Final thing it does is it highlights the new engagement feature, which allows you to get interaction from the audience. So let's go in and create a presentation. So I've started one here. You add slides by clicking add slide or you can import slides. So if you've got an existing PowerPoint or PDF, you can add that and it will import those slides. They won't be editable because it will import an image of the slide, but you can do it that way. So as you add a new slide, so let's go into this one, for example, you can, you don't edit the slide itself. You edit the panel on the right hand side. So whether you prefer would be my question and then there are my options available and I can alter the order. I can add other statements if I want. I could also add images and then I can choose how the results are displayed. So on certain questions, you could either have a spider diagram or a slider, and then you can change the wording in this case uh, at the two ends, whether it be agree or disagree or like or dislike. So that's adding a poll. You can add videos. So you can see I've added a video here and all you do is YouTube is the channel that it supports. You just paste your YouTube link in there and it automatically embeds the video into your slide. Underneath the video, you can choose various reactions to that slide. So you can choose a like or dislike. So I like to use the thumbs up and thumbs down. And it's just another way of getting some engagement and some feedback from the audience. So you can do a sort of competition question and this mimics the features of quizzes and Kahoot in which you can get a live response in a more sort of gamification style. You can have music playing, you can have a time limit and you can have a leaderboard. So I'm not going to go through that in a huge amount of detail, but you have the option if you wish to add those types of questions. So we just go back to the type of question. They're the two quiz competitions and that's going to give you uh, the look and feel that's very similar to Kahoot and quizzes. So we're going to delete that slide and to do that we click on the three dots and hit delete and we can delete that slide. As with normal presentations if you click on the six dots you can alter the order of your slides and clicking on the three dots as you've seen you can either duplicate a slide, copy to another presentation or delete. So we've now got our presentation created. We can change the theme, the color theme. We can create our own custom theme or we can use one of the themes that have been provided by Mentimeter. So let's say space. Um, and you'll see that certain features are only available to certain subscriptions. So I've only got the first level subscriptions. So you can see that that particular theme is only available in the pro selection. And you can see by the green dot there that on my subscription, I can't create my own theme. I can only make use of the ones that are available. Having done that, I can click examples and I can look at other things that are there. So I can search those for particular examples of questions that they've done and I can add those to my slides. So if I'm looking for some inspiration on what to include, then I've got those available there for me. So we're now happy that we've got our presentation. And as I say, there's lots of types of questions you can add. So for the interactive bits, the question types, we've got multiple choice, word cloud, which is my personal favorite, open-ended, scales, ranking, and Q&A. For the quiz competition, which is very much like your Kahoot and your quizzes, we've got select answer and type answer. And then we've got the normal sort of PowerPoint, Google Slides type presentation slides where we're putting information and content. And then we've got the advanced questions where we've got a couple of 
different question types there, which are a bit more detailed in the way that they're asked. And then finally, if you've got the professional version, you've got the ability to embed a form within that. So having created your presentation, you're now ready to share it with your audience. If you click share, you can share a link so they can, they can, part, they can view your presentation. And this is for them to be able to participate as you present it by clicking on polls and asking, answering questions and for presentation sharing that you can share it after everyone has participated. So if you want to share the results of your questions and your slides, this is a different link. So participation, as it says, is for them to engage during your live presentation. Presentation sharing is for them to see the results of that participation. So let's go back to the participation tab and copy that link. And let's open that in a new instance of Chrome. So this is what the participant will see. And then what they've introduced us recently is Mentimote, and this allows you to present it in a slightly more dynamic way. So if we click on, and just drag that so you can see what the audience can see. Okay, so on the left hand side, I've got the ability to turn things off so I can toggle off results, voting, comments and Q&A. In the middle, I can advance my slides and the third panel is my questions. So you can see this is what the participant will see so they can enter in their things. So enter in those and and they can submit those I can then go on to the next slide and it appears there as the as the participant I can like that by clicking on the thumb underneath I can also, because I've got the question feature, I can ask the presenter a question and hit submit. And I, as the presenter, can see the questions there and I can choose to show that. So I can show that Q&A and that means others would be able to see the Q&A that's been answered. And they could like that to acknowledge it or they could write their own question. So that's how you can get some audience engagement. So if I just keep going on, I can move on to the next slide. And again, they can use the sliders or they can skip if they don't sure of their answer and they can hit submit. and I've now worked through my presentation. So they've seen the answers. So if I go back to my Mentimeter, I can see the responses. And what I can do, as I said, is I can click share, I can go to presentation sharing. I can copy that link. If I open that on a new tab and paste that in. This link shows the answers that were given so that I can see which answers were given and I can copy that to my own account if I had an account. So there you have it, a Mentimeter, uh, a great way of adding interactivity to your slides. If you're only going for the free version and, and I say most people will be fine with the free version, just a quick tip. What I tend to do is I'll pick one of the interactive questions. I'm only allowed two. I only, my favorite is the word cloud. I will copy the code that appears at the top. I will copy the share link and I'll do a screenshot of, of this question. I'll add that to my presentation, whether that be in Google Slides or in, in PowerPoint. And then I put the link into the chat, whether that's in Teams or Google Meet, so they can participate. And then I'll just log back onto the presentation having got them to vote and show them the results on screen.
and you can see the results coming up there. So that's how I tend to do it. Um, as I say, I don't present through the whole of Mentimeter. I tend to just take the question feature or the poll feature or the word cloud feature and add the link to that and the slide into my own presentation by doing a screenshot. Anyway, hope you found the video useful. If you did, give it a like. Remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.